Well, hello everyone. I'm Gaming Mike. And this is No Man's Sky. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Just going to be doing some casual planetary exploration for a little bit here. So, uh, join me, won't you? Except I'm finished with this planet. I'm done. I'm done here. Take your lowlands and your planes. Did I not upload that last time? Well, I did now. Did I upload all the animals and plants? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. So, it's time to visit this planet, which has been looming overhead for ages. Ages. Brugs Verde something something. Brugs Verde. in this place. Not what I meant to do. This planet looks the same as the moon. This planet looks the same as the moon. This floating island right here. Bone Junkie, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you, my man. Arid planet. Brugs Verda. Aibata. Brugs Verde. Aibata. I'm just going to enter that into the log here. Verde, Ibata, weather, heated, sentinels, passive, they don't care, flora, lacking, fauna, infrequent, my my, so there's no list, oh there is a list, oh good, that gives me something to do here, I was hoping to look for animals, Aussie and Laura, welcome to the chat, thanks for joining. Welcome, welcome. Brugs Verde, Ibata. This island's taller. Higher up, that is. Oh, I'm glad I didn't fall off of it. Is the high point? Pretty much. High point at the edge. <laughs> Great to be here. So glad you could join us. It's going to be a good stream. We're going to have a good time. Oh, we're running out of time. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not running out of time. It's okay. <laughs> that one's for you, Ossian. That one was all for you. Hello? 
Oh my goodness. So guys, it looks like we might be doing this interview with Cobra TV tonight. I was going to go ahead and stream while I do that. We'll be doing that over Skype, so I'm going to try to play the Skype conversation loud enough that it'll be audible on stream. Hopefully that'll work out. If it turns out to be too much interference, who knows. But just so you know, that is looming here on the horizon. I think we're set to start in about five minutes. Well, his show starts in five minutes. I don't know when he'll be calling exactly. But just so you know, that's what's in store. Gonna be changing the title. I didn't wanna... Oh, Joao, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. I didn't want to uh, change the title preemptively, just in case anything changed at the last minute, you know. So. <clears throat> I need to get my ship off of this island. This floating island. I can't leave it up here. My god, I'd never get back. But... There's a depot here. Go ahead and start naming some of these after our chatters. Bone Junkie was first today, so this is the Bone Junkie planes. Uh, if you're watching, thanks for joining me here for some No Man's Sky. Be sure to say hey in the chat so I can name a waypoint after you. I saw some birds. I saw them. Good thing this game pauses. Bone Junkie planes. See you, birds. Danny Chadwick, welcome to the show. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for joining us. Jahonatus. That was almost a Jahonis. Jahonatus. Jahonatus. Fidaugov. 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 <laughs> See, Danny Chadwick's polite. Danny Chadwick says hello in the night bot. Siompo Maloari and the other gender. Chompo. Chompo Maloari. Chompo. Chompo. Well, that's two down right off the bat. <laughs> the apologist cult of Jehonas. Never forget the Jehonases. Or the Jehonas. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. Uh oh. What did I just jump off of? Oh, it's okay. I see you, Circle Cave. See you. I need more waypoints, please. Sentinel, where are your question marks? I saw an animal that way. What is that shield plant? Oh, it's over here. like a head butter. Chris K, welcome to the chat. Oh, you're just a shy herbivore. Just a shy herbivore. From you. Thankfully. Oh, 
What about you? Oh, what was that? The little fella. Maxima Surgip. Maxima Surgip. Is that the same as this? Yeah, those are the Maxima Surgips. Damn it, man. Welcome to the chat. Masked Hero, nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Just a shot to this moon, uh, the planet of the moon that I've been on for the last few streams. The last couple, at least. Since I found all the animals there, now I'm here. Oh, those things are really green. And really varied. Gender none. Gender symmetric. Boom, boom, boom. Green and stripy. Green and stripy. Ah, oh, don't hit me. I thought I went to the side. <laughs> I thought I was to the side. I heard you. Oh no! Ah, oh, you found me. Don't. Liati Gakuili. <laughs> That's right. That was the top predator of the planet. Six-legged, spike-tailed, tiny-headed, stegosaurus-backed, chicken-legged. Well, except for the elephant hooves. Those back legs were chicken legs. I don't like it when they headbutt me. I don't like it. Boom. Who's next in the chat? That was Aussie and Lord. This is your desert. There you go. Well, thanks for joining in the chat, Ossian. Good to have the lore master in attendance. Always, always. If you got questions about the lore of this game, Ossian's your man. If it turns out Ossian's a woman, I'd be rather embarrassed. But I don't think it. I don't, I don't think so. Welcome to my humble desert. Yes, over here you can see the jagged caves uh, hanging out. <laughs> Angel Games, welcome to the chat. Nice to see you. Good stream earlier as I was getting done with my work and lurk for the day. Oh, come on. What about those? Don't forget those. Scan everything. I made my fortune by scanning stuff. Danny Chadwick booted it? What do you mean booted it? Nightbot can't do that. It didn't say you got timed out or anything. I saw nothing. Oh, Chris K, thanks for the sub. Yes, I certainly do stream the No Man's Sky. I certainly do. What is, oh, that's the shadows going by. Oh. It's shadow transition time on this planet. Error message that your chats wouldn't send. Oh, you know what? I get that error sometimes and I just refresh. I don't think that's a Nightbot thing. I think that was a YouTube error. Probably. Also, if you were typing anything that looked like a URL, no, because you're a moderator, so that shouldn't have happened. I don't know. Interesting. 
more of us. Yeah, Chris, there's a few other uh, No Man's Sky streamers here in the chat with us, too. If you're looking for No Man's Sky streamers, this is the place. This is the place. That's what Brigham Young said, I think. Or was it Joseph Smith? I don't know. Where? Oh, that can't be the closest question mark. Brigham Young. I knew it was one of those guys. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> I figured you would know. <laughs> see after that it was Joao Joao here's your crossing thanks for joining us in the chat again oh I want that one oh Chris K parked himself on a lush planet in the Euclid Center waiting for the content patch yeah nice I think a lot of people are doing that, waiting to see what happens with this next patch before they move on in the game. Is that pearls? Do the sentinels care? Do they care if I take a pearl? Yes, they do. That's fine. I don't care if they care. I don't care if they care. Oh, give me that. No. What? Not good. Oh, there you are. Let's go, doggy. How do you like that? <laughs> Put him right in his grave, saving me the time. What does it say? He's still attacking me. I hope he bugged out. I hope he bugged out about it. I got you fair and square with my grenade. Oh. He still has a life bar there. There. <laughs> I hit him so hard he didn't know he was dead. <laughs> Luana, welcome to the chat. Joao, yeah. Watching and streaming. Nice, man. Angel Games, a thousand orbs from the center. Uh, try some black holes. Try some black holes. What does it still say? I'm under attack? Oh, baloney. Oh, baloney. Come on, he's dead. He's good and dead. Wow, I glitched out that sentinel dog. I guess I shouldn't be such an efficient killer. Playing and watching as well, Chris K. Nice. Right on. Waiting where? Ryan, welcome to the chat. Where are you guys waiting? I'm listening. I'm ready on the Skype.
Hey, welcome back, Zeus. One for Danny. <laughs> John Otter, welcome to the chat. Thomas Briscoe, welcome. They say they're trying to call me for this interview, but I uh, get no call on Skype. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I did not need to do that.
podcast. <laughs> I hesitate to even ask what that is, John Otter. John Otter, that's all right. What are you painting? Another head butter. Nonercure usclenaco. Submissive, not a predator. Not a predator. Look at that head. What are you? That's the other gender. Nice face, man. Wow. <laughs> Found one of those in your stream too, Angel Games. Yeah, they're pretty weird looking. Don't know what that's all about, but whatever.
let's see. Who's next? Last one was uh, Danny Chadwick Wastes. This Desert goes to... Chris K was next. Chris K, there's a desert for you. Thanks for joining me in chat tonight. Chris K, deserts. Boom. Friday Gaming, welcome to the chat. Good to see you back. Just uh, going after the animals on this planet. Oh, Arden Duck, hey. Welcome, welcome. Uh, wastes tonight. <laughs> A lot. Oh, you know what? There you go. Wasteland is usually quite beautiful in real life. Yeah, I would not disagree with that statement. <laughs> yeah, Arden Duck, I thought I thought that was the deal too, but oh well. Steve, welcome to the chat. Yeah, Arden Duck, actually weren't you gonna be in on that interview as well? Face looks like Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> John Otter says you look like Kevin Bacon. Egalum Coter Date. Coter Date. Temperament unconcerned. This dinosaur don't give up. Yeah. Yeah, Arden Duck, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. They told me to answer my call on Skype, and I've got no call, and that's the last I heard. So, whatever. But hey, thanks for joining me here with the No Man's Sky. I'm Gaming Mike. Hope you're enjoying the stream. If you are, drop me a like there. Let me know that you did enjoy it or are enjoying it. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more in the future.
green dot. What? Who tries to attack me? You! I've seen your kind before. Get out of here. You're gone. Steve, you streamed last night? Nice. That's awesome, man. More streamers. <laughs> Single shot musket to take out the headbutting life forms, I think you mean, John Otter. Episinopar. Oh, let's see. Who's next? After Mask Hero. Looks like we had Damn It Man join the chat. Damn It Man, this is your desert. I like the alliteration there. Damn It Man, desert. Boom, thanks for joining the chat. Always good to have you, damn it man. Pro lurker, new streamer, real streamer. Damn it man did a test stream today, you guys. Might as well subscribe to his channel right now so you can catch all those streams in the future. Ruins, John Otter, I have not been seeing Ruins very much at all lately in my, in my wanderings. It seems like ever since you asked me to look at them for you, they just dried up. Where'd that red dot go? Oh, whoa, hey, there it is. What's this? Mipnoruatam Eludiosu, 6.09 meters. Pretty tall. Not the tallest I've seen. Duck, what messages? What are you talking about?
Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh my god. What? Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Give me just one minute, guys. Uh. Huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. Just one moment. Oh well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Ron Scoville, welcome to the chat. Okay. So apparently Skype doesn't really want to work for me right now. I don't know what the deal is. So never mind all that. That's a little disappointing. why I wasn't... <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just glad I didn't say much about it beforehand, that's all.
what is an asymptotic gender? That, Daniel Rocha, is a great question, and welcome to the chat. Nice to see you. Asymptotic, that's one of the genders in the game. one more that I'm looking oh I found them all oh my gosh I wasn't even paying attention I found them all okay great great do I have snapchat yes affirmative that's why it listed nightbot just listed all my social media where you can find me actually in the chat uh, let's see that was the damn it man desert after damn it man came angel games I don't think we did one for Angel Games tonight yet, did we? No. The Angel Games wastes. Thanks for joining me in the chat. Angel Games. Angel Games. Wastes. Oh, welcome back, Dana Man. John Otter, I might steal the term meat droid, just for the record. I'm a meat droid, for sure. Sorry for the pausey gameplay, guys. I'm trying to log into Skype on my phone now.
Let's see if this works. <laughs> Goodness sakes. The things you do, the things you do. It's the whole kit and caboodle. Okay. Let's see if this works. Ridiculous. All right, let's get. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to make this thing happen, but what are you gonna do when there's zero preparation? What are you gonna do? checking the chat here to see if you guys are talking about uh, plants feeling pain. I like it. I like it. A nice topic. Hello? Hey, Mike, Mike. Hey! Mike. Mike, I got it to work! <laughs> Man, sorry about that. Hey, he's well, busy streaming. Okay, hey, we all made it to the same stream. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross him. Don't cross him. Did you guys already make that joke? Mike getting to that portal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, I mean, uh, Mike, so, do you have anything you want to say about the, the, all of you guys meeting together and how it felt for you? Oh man, it was great fun. Uh, that was by far my favorite stream yet. I just started streaming when I started playing No Man's Sky and it's been a lot of fun, but that was, that was a good culmination to a lot of things, a lot of people I've met. It was nice to stand there with them, even though we couldn't exactly. see each other. I enjoyed yeah, it a lot. And I, 
I've said that before in the past, it's awesome, even if you couldn't see each other. And, and, and you know, for so many of you to coordinate such a, you know, difficult thing to, that the galaxy is huge. There's many different places you could go to, and then to find one portal, the same portal. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. It's and really the... amazing. I mean, you know, when, when somebody said, we, even though we couldn't see each other, we felt each other, and I think Rob explained it pretty well, that it was a, a tremendous accomplishment, and that, yeah. you know, you all felt exactly the same, you know, excited and happy, and oh, yeah. felt, felt accomplished, and that was, you know, I, I wish I could have experienced that. Yeah, and it was it was it was like hanging out in a place with your buddies. But I hope that Rob's taking all the credit for uh, putting that all together because he did a lot of work mapping that stuff out and uh, guiding people to the system and guiding people to the portal. He mapped it out through the clouds on the planet. It was a very involved process. I'm in second. Actually, Rob's Rob's done a Rob's done an awful lot of work. Yeah. Four hell of games. I would say. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, no, no, it's, I mean, we, we should probably talk about it, yeah? like, uh, like, Rob streams probably, on average, I'd say, between six and ten hours a day. Yeah. I, I'd say he's probably the most active No Man's Sky YouTuber on Earth, and that's not an exaggeration, I think <laughs> you probably are. Probably. And you took, and he, he spent an awful lot of time working this game out, and he did this, and he, he deserves to be, uh, have hats tipped to him. Shall we say? <laughs> My hat is definitely tipped to you, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> it's nice to be appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for the record, Mike, I, I got my spanner back and I didn't have to say the P word. Oh. So you know. <laughs> Ryan, you <laughs> caved. A, you caved. This is an end joke. No one's going to Well, congratulations. Congratulations, last three. Oh, oh man! Civilized. <laughs> Are you guys, guys behaving um, yourselves? <laughs> before we end up uh, ending the call, please make sure you leave your uh, YouTube links in the Skype uh, chat so that I can include them on the YouTube video when this gets uploaded. Okay, sure. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, uh, that's another thing. It would be it would be amazing if um, we could get a bigger audience because honestly, I think I think we uh, I think we do the game justice just just for us us lot having good fans or chatting away while we're playing the game. I think. I think it's, it's nice to watch, so yeah, that'd be great. Right, right, definitely. All right, so uh, we were talking about the mysteries of No Man's Sky, and I know Serious Gamer X has tons to say. Does anybody else um, have you come across anything concerning the portals or the center? <laughs> let's let's talk about a couple of mysteries. Let's talk about the, the mystery of the V three pass. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is the mystery of that thing? Because as far as I'm concerned, it has no purpose apart yeah. from wasting my time to get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It opens uh, B3 doors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's the only thing it does. <laughs> yeah. So That's crazy. Is, is there something the B3 pass? does that nobody has realized because i cannot i mean i've been disappointed twice in this game uh, <laughs> and that's the only two times i've only ever been disappointed in this game uh and the three pass was number two because it was like why have i wasted my time all of this stuff that it's giving me i can get at any waypoint any crash ship anywhere on the planet yeah. it's giving me nothing new so I wasted my time there, and that, that really upset me. So I'm thinking, well, maybe there is something that we don't know yet that hasn't been discovered. So the, the optimist in me is saying, there is something there for this thing. You know, there has to be. So there, that to me is a mystery. The other thing that really disappointed me in the game was the Atlas Path. Mm. I mean, that yeah. end, that end, what was that about? That, and that, um, <laughs> and uh, I, I do a riding show where I ride my moped from work and I put my camera on the on the wind mirror and as I'm riding I, I talk about No Man's Sky and the day after I, I finished the Atlas Park I did a show and it was like what was the point what was the whole point of that it was such a big thing from the moment you start the game the first decision you have to make is do you follow the Atlas Park and if you do follow it 
don't even get a cut seat when you finish it. You just get, hey, well done. We've named the star system for you. We've, we've birthed one. We're not going to tell you where it is. We're not going to show it you. We're not going to tell you what its name is. Just take our word for it. Now, on your way. To me, that was like, are you kidding me? What, what, what was the point of that? And all they had to do was introduce a cut scene. Just a <laughs> cut scene that showed the birth of the star. It didn't even have to be real. It just showed it. And I, I would be happy. I was a bit disappointed with the Atlas Path 2, but what I got out of it was an interesting story was told to me. You know, we've learned that the, it's all a simulation, it's a loop, um, and, you know, it, it was a path to learn some lore. And when you got to the end of the path, the payoff was, you know, you could see black holes now, you know, and that, that was shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's your reward of broken shit. <laughs> so, you know. you're right, you're right, you're right. But, you know, that was what it was to me. It was an experience of the lore. Um, yeah, was I disappointed? Yeah. yeah. But I, I did get something out of it, you know, I... I it wasn't entirely pointless, um, but it, you know, it did it did break my. Oh yeah, it made me go, oh man. Yeah. But, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> well, and this game is really story heavy too, and I think a lot of people miss that on the rush to get to the center first. I think. Yeah. People, well, comparing their expectations to what it is, I don't think people realized that a lot of the game is in the story. There's the exploration, but then those stories are great. I mean, whoever wrote the abandoned building lore, I wanna, I wanna read more by that person. You know, that stuff was yeah, yeah. fantastic. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted to explore the lore, um, and I didn't want to explore the planets too much, because uh, I was trying to do the Atlas Path and collect all the lore and everything and read it. Yeah. And so I was exploring the lore, and I, I made a comment in one of my videos, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go to that planet, I'm going to go ahead and hurry up to the next Atlas path. Uh, I'm not in an exploration mood, you know, because yeah. I wanted to explore the lore. And somebody unsubscribed me, told me I was a fake fraud, <laughs> that I'm not exploring my audience. And I'm like... You're playing it I, wrong. I, I, I tried, <laughs> yeah, and I tried to explain, I'm, I'm exploring the lore, but he blocked me and I couldn't even explain myself. I'm uh. like, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know the lore. The lore is explorable too. It's it, it's something really fun to explore, especially if you're screenshotting it and then you go back and read some of it. Oh yeah. Um, what I I feel it's it's too scrambled though for me. I it's feel like me. it's all connected. Yes, but it's like well, what what do you read first? How can because I wanted to do a story and then you know and read some of the lore and tell the lore on my YouTube channel. But yeah. It's so. It's so, uh, give it to you at different points in the story that you can't, it's hard to put it all together properly. Wait guys, I'm going to bring some water because <laughs> I I only need one minute. Okay. Yeah, the, the lore yeah. seems disconnected at first. I think it does go in a cycle though, as you visit the specific uh, types of buildings. I've gone back through and I, I always stop at the abandoned buildings now just so I can read it again and I believe it's chronological but early on in the game I don't think it's that easy to realize because you're hitting all these different type of buildings and you're going to different systems seeing Gek and Korvax and Viking stuff so it, right. it comes at you really chaotically in the beginning but if you play I mean as you play through some more you can stop specifically at those types of buildings and, and see the story a lot better I think. So it only seems like it's all spoiled yeah. before you go. Yeah, I remember in the beginning, so I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> what, about the, what about the fourth race? I saw a video on Cobra's uh, channel. It was a podcast. He was talking to someone who found the, the files of the fourth race. And there are some laws that obviously they say something about there was a lore, I don't remember exactly what it was saying, but it was saying about a creature, but it was different, and it was pesticides and things like that, or there, there was uh, something uh, on monoliths uh, that was saying like, uh, it, there was a, a culture before 
uh, before the Viking. It was, I think, it's on the Viking uh, plaques, hmm. on the Viking lore. And it was saying about uh, race that it was before the three races, and maybe it outlived the sentinels. Maybe it has created the sentinels. Maybe the sentinels are, are created by the fourth race. I mean, the grays and well, the fourth like race. That. The fourth race was uh, actually cat-like figures. Yeah. Um, I don't know. By looking at that picture, it looked like there were two different types of NPCs there. Grey aliens and cat huh. Yeah, but have you seen the picture I took of, uh, from the planet? Yeah, Harvest I've seen it. was looking like a grey alien, right? It did, it did, it did, yeah. Yeah, so... I, I think it, it, it's code that's in the game, you know, because they found it inside the game, the fourth race files. I think it's code that's inside the game that has not been woken up yet. Huh. I, I, as far as, what I, mean, what I mean by, it could be an easter egg, yes, and that's another thing. You know, he said he put easter eggs in there, but has anybody found one? <laughs> like a really, one that you could actually point at and say, yup, that's an easter no, egg. Nothing aside from one, references to sci-fi. Voyage approved. <laughs> we, we, we know, we knew that the, you know, some of the achievements were easter egg-ish, you know, kind of, but that was yeah. before. Um, yeah. We knew that before he said he, that they put easter eggs in the game. What about the reference to the bagel fish? The yeah. Chuck's Guide to the Galaxy. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but that that was uh, that was before he, you know, we already knew that those were Easter eggs um, before he actually said, "Hey, in this new 1.03, we put some Easter eggs in." Blah blah blah. Um, well, where are they? Yeah, no. I heard. Have you heard the singing angels in the portal? <laughs> no. 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 Uh, I guess I've heard some noises, but. <laughs> okay, all right. I think I'm the only one who actually has discovered this. If you go into a portal, turn your music down to zero, just so the only effects you've got are your sound effects. Turn your sound effects up to 100. You know when you walk into the middle of a portal, everything goes quiet and you just hear noise. Uh, yeah. uh, noise reminiscent of the, the monolith sound from 2001, when they showed the monolith. It's, it's reminiscent of that. If you walk in and out of a portal, you will actually start hearing there are three distinctive noise patterns that you will get to hear. One is just a slight humming. One is a little bit more industrious with a little like a beep, 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 beep sound to it. And one of them is like the slight humming, but if you listen very carefully, you can hear what sounds like angels singing. Wow. Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm going to be trying that tonight. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I am. I'm looking for a portal right now. I mean, you guys, Ryan, Mike, have you guys heard, you've heard me show yep. that. Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard um, it. I was at work when I was listening, so I couldn't quite hear what you were talking about, unfortunately. But I've tried it myself, and I, I heard two of those things you're talking about. I heard this sort of industrial sound one. Like a, it was more like a, like a whoop, whoop, whoop for me. I could hear. Um, or, or kind of like whale song, it sounded like to me. But yeah, 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 it was, yeah. It was pretty faint. Yeah, it's probably, you, you call it whale song, I call it angels. It sounds like angels singing inside the portal. Tomato, tomato. I mean, they're, they're like chanting. It's like, like a Like a voice from the other side of the portal. <laughs> yeah. And, and the three distinct sounds to me are probably linked to uh, the three races. You've got the industrial sound. Oh. Which is probably the gang. Uh, you've got the quiet sound, which is probably the callbacks, you know, machines, computers, and then you've got the angels, which is probably linked to the Viking. So, I, I, I don't know if if that has anything to do with I mean, Easter eggs. For me, it's an Easter egg, but okay. it have to something be. Something I want. Something I wanted to say about the races. I mean, have you noticed all the Corvaxes, most of them have on the masks the planet with the two moons, right? Like NATO does. Yeah. Yeah. Did you notice that? They also have the X with the three ones. 111. Okay? X and 111. Right on the shoulders or on their suits, right? Okay. So the Vikings have the golden balls on, on their forehead. Have you noticed that? The yeah. small golden balls, like they are on uh, uh, the ruins. Did you 
Yeah. What, yeah. what do the the gags have? I did not I did not say anything about the gags. Gag nip. <laughs> <laughs> Drug addicts. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they wear that crazy headgear. They probably think it looks good when they're high. That's I'm sure they do. It's from <laughs> well, I love it. <laughs> the helmet. They're wearing the helmet. Like uh, ancient Roman helmets. Have you noticed that? They need to get hello. <laughs> Long live the Viking. Yeah, or, or give, or, bring games to one. That's, that's the only reason you say that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm engaged to one, so, you know, I've, have you seen that Cobra as well, like, um, you, you can accidentally get engaged to a Viking? I've again? seen that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, it's funny, too, because somebody trolled an article about, uh, on nomadsguide.net a long time ago, saying that new information has come out that you can get married to the NPC, uh, build a house and build furniture, craft furniture, <laughs> and... Uh, People were believing it. They're like, Cobra, you gotta talk about this. Cobra, you gotta talk about that. And I'm like, no, guys, that's, that's not true. That doesn't now, happen. We can get engaged to some of the NPCs. Um, yeah, like and, building is, and building is confirmed. So, you know, going back to that nomadsguy.net article, you know, even though it was a troll, they weren't too far off, man. Oh, uh, I, I would think Sean Murray has read that and goes, you know what, let's put that in. <laughs> you know, because it happened, it happened with Lemmy from Motorhead, didn't it? You know, when, when Lemmy from Motorhead died, they named yeah, Lemmy. That's an Easter egg. That's an Easter egg, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so Lemmy, a heavy metal element. I mean, there you go. Yeah. I mean, and that was just because of a fan, a, a developer was a fan of Motorhead. Right. And so they snuck that in. And how long ago was it? He died. It wasn't that long ago, was it? So. Oh. Right, yeah. You know, and they suck that right in there. Uh, so I suspect that the, the engagement is probably as a direct result of a, that Reddit page or whatever it was saying this is going to happen. Yeah. So, you know what, let's stick that in as a joke. Huh. <laughs> but, you, you know something, guys? What I was thinking about, they didn't put multiplayer, so they should put something that you can leave messages to other players and planets. Like, you can build abandoned buildings and then leave your message there so other players can find your message it would be very cool yeah that would be fun yeah, it would be cool. be something like that i think it'd be cool if you know the, the gravestones that you have to go back and collect like if they never despawn like, <laughs> you know, roaming around on a planet and you saw someone else's gravestone yeah. spinning there yeah that would be really cool and you could pick up any yeah. stuff they left behind in it yeah uh, yeah <laughs> your inventory is full uh, can't get it all, you know. Yes. What I mean? Like a little bit stays in it. I mean, I, I, so I, I, I talked about on my writing show about things that I would like to see in the game multiplayer-wise. I think, okay, so we can't see each other, but why can't we set bounties on each other? So you know, like Grand Theft Auto style. So you set a bounty on one of your friends, and every time they go into a system, they get attacked. And, uh, if they manage to complete, you know, defeat so many waves of pirate, they get the bounty instead, you know, uh, things like that. Just to give it a little something of a multiplayer element. It'd be uh, kind of cool if you've got a little bit of a deposit too. So, you know, 10 hours later you're playing, all of a sudden you get some extra units and like, ah, ah, yeah. this night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I had a similar idea, I mentioned on my show as well, about to get base building. Why do we need base building? I don't see any point to base building. What is the point? The whole purpose of the game is to move on and on, not to stay in one place. So I had the same idea of saying, well, I would love to make my own little markers where I can create my own law as such and have people find that law some way, some time in the future. Because that was one of the big things that appealed to me to this game was the fact that I could have my own little bit of immortality within the game. Uh, virtual immortality that same someday for as long as the servers are alive there is a planet somewhere with my name on it uh, I mean I've, I've put my own easter egg in the game I've named a system somewhere with my email address it's my email address <laughs> yeah. so I'm hoping someday someone will find it and email me and say hey man I found this planet with this address you know how you do it it'll probably be on my deathbed just before I take my last breath but <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> 
like yeah, leaving a bottle cool. with a message on the ocean. Yes. Ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That was the whole idea about the abandoned buildings. It was saying you should leave yeah. abandoned buildings because the law is uh, something. Uh, in the end, the Lord points you to yourself, and uh, it says that that you leave this message from you, for yourself. The voice you heard, everything was by yourself, was a message from yourself, from the future, from the next galaxy, maybe. Yeah. You know. I think my call might have dropped just now. That's not good. <laughs> well, I just dropped out of that call for some reason. I don't. Try it again. Sorry about that. What happened? Uh, I, my Did internet you? blinked off and it dropped the call. Hey guys. Hey. What happened? I don't know. Um, it's Ryan oh. here. I got, I got cut off. Just Everybody got cut off, huh? It's me, you, and Ryan now on the call. I thought it was me. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's just, well, um, Cobra's not back, Rob's not back. Still be here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's close this call, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He says, let me call you back. So we'll resume that interview in just a minute. Hey, thanks for joining me today, guys. Doing an interview with Cobra TV right now and also exploring No Man's Sky and the life of Ryan and Serious Gamer X. There they are. Hey oh, guys. hi. What happened? Uh, uh, this is Gaming Mike. I'm here. Who's the serious gamers here? Who else? Yeah. Ryan's here. Cobra's here. Okay. Excellent. We got Rob here. Uh, I think oh. he's just connected us. Yep, he just joined. Is the stream live? Can they be here? Who knows? Wait, we've, we've got free rate. Cobra's not here. We can say whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think we're, Cobra's having problems. Uh, I think the people can't hear us right now on stream. Okay. Can you hear us, guys, in the chat? Can you hear us? What's happening? Was that the devil? <laughs> I am not sure. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh my god. Well. Wow. Well, what do we say now, guys? How was everybody this evening? <laughs> Doing lovely, <laughs> just doing lovely. Running the stream right now, actually. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, a nice, that, actually, yeah. I'm getting a nice planetary time lapse of a flyover around this planet in my ship. Awesome. Yeah, the, the guys, do you know what happened to me? I cannot talk to Nada anymore. The anomalies. Why? Why? Oh really? This I don't Is know. It a glitch? Probably. It sounds like <laughs> your game is a little broken. Yeah, maybe, maybe need to maybe need to reinstall the game or something. Might help. I don't know. I will look into it. All right. Because last time I I checked. All right, is everybody there? 
Okay. I don't know what happened. Yeah, me neither. I don't know if Rob's here. Is is Rob back? Uh, I guess nothing. Yeah, Rob's on the call. I can see he's on the call. Yeah. Well. Are we live? Yes, we're live. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, what a mess! What a mess! I, w I was saying here to the guys that I cannot talk to Nada anymore. My game. I just walked into an out in an anomaly and I cannot talk to Nada. I can only talk to Paulo. That's weird. Yeah. That's, that's weird. Luke Sky Trigger said somebody spun me out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so am I, guy, am I back now, guys? Oh, yeah, now right. I can hear you. Uh, did we all go, or was it just me? <laughs> we all went. We were attacked by Corvax uh, over here at our uh, Cobra station. Yeah, those nasty Corvax, I told you. Yeah. Huh. Well, it was the cat. No, it wasn't. No, it was the Viking. Send, send it to uh, <laughs> the <laughs> don't, 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 be, don't, don't be slandering the Viking, alright? The Viking are a beautiful, peaceful race. Yeah, sending warheads to the gates. <laughs> yeah. A Viking actually killed me once in, in a building. I um, I was on a toxic planet and I ran inside and I had one one health. I don't know what you'd call it. One health left. Oh my <laughs> um, and I and I interacted with a Viking. And I got the wrong answer and it hit me and killed me. Oh really? Yeah. That is really cool. <laughs> I killed myself. I, I killed myself in a space station once just to see if I could do it. Kept jumping off the balcony until I finally died. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it was crazy because when I when when I went back, like I I saw my my grave and I'd never died on a on a planet's surface before. So when I went back in, I thought like I was I didn't know what the hell was happening. This thing was spinning around. I was like, what is going on? But yeah, I got punched to death by a Viking. That is awesome. After, after I agreed to marry one as well, it's just just an insult. <laughs> <laughs> Will you marry me? Yeah, sure. Punch. You're dead. Come back in your grave. You're not worthy of my daughter. <laughs> yeah. It's more play for you for uh, the bike game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh, I, I, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, a content update possibly here pretty soon. It's been a long time since we got bug fixes, right? Yes. And their last <laughs> uh, their last bug fix said more bug fixes. So if they added another one, would it be even more bug fixes? Or, you know, it's been Thank such you. a long time, right? So with uh, Sean Murray going on possibly going on Jeff Keighley's show in late October and then the developer for sound and audio going to be in Helsinki, Paul Weir, is going to be in Helsinki early November. Hmm. It sounds like, you know, a lot of free time is going to be in their laps. And uh, I, for Sean Murray to show his face in public after such backlash, I don't think he would show himself with the game as it is right now. Or if he did show himself, he'd be like, hey, begin in November, you're going to get a new uh, content update. That's why I'm here to tell you. Um, but I, I really think this long period of no bug fixes and these meetings in around the same time frame in, no, in no, uh, October, beginning of November, I think we're going to see a, a big content drop. And, you know, what would it be? Um, yeah. Would it be the missing features or would it be the uh, the base building and the freighters that they, they talked about? What confuses me is that they mentioned those before they said that they're going to put the missing stuff back in. So... Are we going to see some of that missing stuff, or are they just going to go ahead and skip over top of it and just add the base building of freighters? Are the portals going to start working? <laughs> <laughs> I just think there's so much, there's so much that they could be doing. I, I think it's, I think we can't even begin to guess what it is they might be adding. Uh, I think there's been so many different requests. Um, and let's be honest, there, there, there was a lot of features that were hinted at that aren't there, so it could be a number of probably a thousand different things so yeah. i'm just gonna i'm just gonna wait for it to happen and be surprised yeah. yeah we know we know one thing for sure and that's for music yeah that's the one thing we know for definite that is more music i think we've got that pretty much confirmed by 65 days of static didn't we they said that we're finishing up doing some more music for the for the pending update yeah yeah so music we know that doesn't that more hours from my gameplay. I don't know, you might enjoy the app, you might enjoy listening to it, just sitting there listening to it. The music oh, in this yeah, game is fantastic. 
a lot of people are looking at the the tweet that Paul Weir did and they said, oh, only audio. But it, he doesn't say just audio. He said audio yeah. will be in the uh, first content update soon. And why would they so make more music? Audio. Why would they make more music What's if that? there was not new content? It doesn't make sense. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to, as far as I'm concerned, there's enough music in it. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. I, I, I I've never felt like there's a lack of soundtrack to No Man's Sky whatsoever. Unless you go hunting for angels and portals like Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I didn't go hunting. I just thought I happened to hear something, so I investigated. <laughs> but uh, oh, I was going to ask a question. It's completely gone out of my head. It'll come back to me. While you're thinking about that, since we're all in the same boat, you know, uh, Rob, you're looking for the secrets in No Man's Sky. You did something amazingly impossible, and I I commend you for that. Um, and then you know we got Serious Gamer X who's looking for the mysteries in No Man's Sky. I I talk about No Man's Sky quite a bit, and I talk about those mysteries quite a bit on my channel. And I get a lot of Tim Foil hat comments on my you know I'm going crazy, I'm going bonkers. <laughs> Do you guys experience the same thing? Oh. You know, I don't talk about the theories too much <laughs> anymore. Yes. Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it does feel like clutching at straws at times, to me, to be honest, it does. It's yeah. just... Uh, I mean, it's just it's such fun. a... You know, I mean, they can say we're crazy all we want, but it's fun. Even if it's not there, yeah. you know, I think like somebody here said, even if it's not there, who cares? It's, it's super fun yeah. to, you know, that's my goal. I'm going to crack this mystery. And they might yeah. sneak... They might sneak the patch in while we're all sleeping. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. like, um, they might not even tell us the portals are now working. It's just somebody's going to get it to work the first time that since the, they sneak the patch in, and that person's going to be famous. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I mean, to me, No Man's Sky is like, uh, it's like Lost. You know, the TV series Lost. Yeah. It's just so much, so many questions. And you just have to keep plugging away. And, and in the end, <laughs> just like Lost, you're not going to get all the answers ever. So <laughs> um, there'll always be unanswered questions. And that was the fantastic thing about Lost. It, uh, it, it was always the unanswered questions. Right. Uh, and the speculation. Because uh, I think Lost was the very first television show that got a community behind it, an internet community behind it actually discussing it and theorizing uh and that's what happens with no man's sky now you've actually got people theorizing uh left right and center uh whether or not they're wasting their time or not theorizing it who knows but it is fun to actually theorize what this means what does that mean uh, is this something you know it's fun even though yeah, exactly. I don't think anybody's actually discovered anything yet it's fun. At the end of the day, it's fun. That's all it is. I mean, call Absolutely. me crazy all you want. But I'm oh, having a blast, you know. I mean, I, I've streamed. I, I thought I did a rough calculation before I came on to see how much I've actually streamed. Uh, and it's somewhere between three to 400 hours now that I've actually streamed of me playing this game. And uh, I, I still want to play it. I still want to play it. Oh, yeah. so I just do not understand how people can hate this game so much. If I, I can play I, it for that long. I, I, I don't know how people can hate the game so much, but um, I'm, I'm one of the biggest No Man's Sky fans. I'm with you guys, right? We're all in the same boat. We're, all, we're in the same No Man's Sky boat. But yeah. uh, I understand why people are upset because there are certain features that, that people were looking for, like... Uh, I mean, I know they sound stupid when you say them out loud. You know, like rings around a planet, uh, <laughs> planet, you know, planetary, <laughs> planetary, <laughs> planetary orbiting. Um, you know, that would have been kind of cool. But if you think about it, if you had to travel to a star and then past a star just to get to a planet that's on the other side, that'd be a lot of travel time. Um, that's a big pain. To make it stationary like that was probably smart. I don't know. I don't know why they changed that. Um, they they said that they changed the day-night cycle because in testing, people were getting confused. Yeah, I read that too, yeah. 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 So they changed it. But also, I'd like to have tried it myself, though. Yeah, right. yeah. But imagine how would it would be if you were, you know, sometimes planets can be two minutes away or more. Mm 
war at all poles. Yeah. And imagine trying to get to a planet that's on the other side of the system <laughs> star. Uh, don't have to imagine. We travelled 174,000 light years <laughs> to get to the centre. That yep. took three days for me. Right. Week to ride. So, to me, the idea of actually having to travel a long time to get across to the other side of the sun, I, I, would, re I would revel in that. I would absolutely love that. For me, that would be fantastic. Yeah. You know, I think, I think uh, it, would oh. it would not necessarily be great streaming entertainment, but <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to have to do it would be fun, though. I think. But I think, you know, people, they, they, they have a, I, I understand why there are some people are upset. Now the outward hate, like the weird, uh, I've seen some comments that are just like ungodly, yeah. you know, like that are very hateful and they're very like uh, violent. And I, get, <laughs> I can't understand that and I can't get behind that, but I can get behind people that do feel like there are certain things they wanted to see in the game and they're upset that they're not. I, I, I feel for those people, I really do. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed at some of the missing things too, but I play it and I have fun with it. And I know that this yeah, is just yeah. like the release of No Man, or this is just like the release of Minecraft, yeah. where it's a it's a base version that's going to be built upon if we allow it to be built upon. Uh, I don't know how many times I've said the exact same thing. I mean, yeah. uh, like I often when when I get people coming into my streams on the chat saying, "Oh, what's the point? This is this is this is awful." Blah 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 blah. I always start with look at Minecraft. Look, uh, look how Minecraft yeah. started. It started yeah. as such a basic idea, but it's it's become a phenomenon now. And No Man's Sky has infinitely more potential than Minecraft. Right. right. Yeah, so, exactly. give it time. Yeah. yeah. It, it'll get better. It, it would really well. Yeah. This yeah. game is a Come huge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an could... exploration game. Yeah. Game. So <laughs> you have to explore. No shooting. No fighting. It's an exploration game. You have to explore. <laughs> you have to, to got the feeling of exploring. You know, I always, I, I, I always loved things about space. You know, I would, I always was, was watching like space documentaries and everything about space, about black holes, about the universe, the planets, the distances, everything. And this game offers you that to see how how big is the universe, how big is the galaxy. You can see that in those 18 quintillion planets. I mean, the galaxy of the game is bigger than our own galaxy. It's maybe three times bigger. <clears throat> and you have to see that. You, you have to open your mind and see the game, that it's so huge. And you can see the vastness of space, the galaxy. And to feel how small you are in, uh, in those... Uh, <laughs> you are so small compared to the to the to the real galaxy, to the real to the real uh, space. To right. The real yeah. Universe. Yeah. I, I think Sirius has hit the nail on the head. The yeah. It, it has feelings. Point of the game. Sean Murray's point in this game is to point out how insignificant we as an individual yeah, exactly. are in the great in the whole scheme of things. We are nothing. We are a speck of dust in the universe. We are nothing. And his message is that message is in this game. Yeah, uh, he said that much too. Yeah. He, he said exactly that. He said, that's, that is what the point of the game is. It's, it's not. A, there's no end game. There's no uh, defeat the last boss. It's not a traditional game as such. It is a, a game for you to open your mind and just see how large the universe is as a whole, whether it be virtually, and question one's own existence and insignificance. And I think that's the point of this game, not a traditional video game. Yeah, I think, I think that's where it breaks down a lot for a lot of people because we, uh, uh, this game can be played for long amounts of time, right? And when <laughs> yes. we first got this game, <laughs> everybody binge played it. I mean, we binge played it more than we binge played two episodes of Walking Dead on Netflix. You know, I mean, we went crazy with it. Um, and we got in 40 hours, 80 hours, 100 hours. We got that in within the first week. Yep. And so I think that, you know, when you buy a, a, a normal AAA title that's got a 30 hour, 40 hour story, when you're done, what do you do with it? Well, if it's, if it's a collectible for you, you put it on the shelf and maybe you'll wait for a DLC. If it's not a collectible, you take it back to GameStop and you trade it in for the next game on Tuesday. Yep. You know, uh, with No Man's Sky, 
you can play it for past that 30 hour 40 hour normal uh, campaign mark and the game doesn't complete for you it doesn't end for you it just keeps going and going and going so it leaves like this unended feeling uh, no it, it, like there's no closure like uh, like you it feels like okay I have to put this game down before I'm done beating it but there is no done beating it and I, I think that's where a lot of the emptiness feeling comes in for a lot of people I really yeah. do. I think that's a, that's Speak a problem. Speak to me, dude. Speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks is an eight-year-old kid in Idaho sitting on a uh, freaking carpet in front of the TV right? and yelled at by his mom. Sticks is some kid <laughs> that doesn't know what he what did. <laughs> Why? 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 Exactly. Why are there thousands of people around the world messaging you on your PSN account? I don't know, Bob. You won't let me read them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly wonder if he even knows what he's done. Like, I don't I, think I, so. I don't think like, so. Like, joking aside, I wonder if he even realizes. Uh, he probably thinks he's doing the same thing everybody else is doing. Yeah. The thing is, on my stream, on my live stream, when I found that Sticks found uh, the center, was a guy appeared uh, with a YouTube uh, channel like Sticks. It was the same name. Oh, yeah, yeah I seen somebody. And yeah, he they... was claiming, he was claiming, that he was the six that found the center, and he he was telling us that uh, as soon as he found the center, uh, Hello Games Ryan called him, <laughs> 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 and he told him to sit quiet and doesn't say anything to anyone, so he can win the big prize or something <laughs> like that. That's awesome. Just happened to have his phone number. Yep. <laughs> John Murray said the goal of the game, one of the goals of the game is to get to the center of the galaxy, right? But he, uh, just before release, he, there was an interview I was watching, it was one of the, it was a new, a new interview, just before release, and he said uh, like something that stuck out to me, but I didn't report on it because it went against kind of what he said in the past, but he said in this interview, this is a quote, only a few people will get to the center of the galaxy. Huh. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I, 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 but I just missed it because I'm like, what do you mean? You told us it was only 40 to 100 hours away. What are you talking about? So I ignored it, you know? And Interesting. I, think, I guess he's right. Since everybody warps to the center, you get rejected. <laughs> no. Sticks did it. Try again in the next galaxy. Huh. I'll be honest with you. It's not I like that. It's not like a glitch. That. I still think there's some sort of glitch going on here. I don't think anybody's done anything. I think somehow somebody's gone through the center and it's glitched and has caused them to say discovered. Somehow something I think glitched so. with. I think that's exactly because it doesn't tell you everything. You still got the question marks, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, well, because you, 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 you haven't been there. When you discover, when you discover a, a black hole star system, even though you claim that discovery and you upload it and rename it. It still says analysis of the uh, star class and uh, the amount of suns, I mean, the amount of planets and moons is always going to be question marks. Huh. Yeah, right. no. It says it just says black glitch? hole. It just says black hole. Yeah there's, there's, yeah, there's no star class information. There's no planets information on, on the info yeah. bar. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I would imagine that maybe the center of the galaxy could be the same way. There's there's no analysis. There never will be. I, Not I, until yeah, you get there. Out just at that time, and put his name, out, name on it. I think so, huh? I, I, yeah, yeah, that, that probably makes more sense than, than someone actually discovering it. Yeah, but I, 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 you know, I want it to be true. I want it to be true that someone actually did it. That would, that would like redeem us a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <crazy> Looney Tunes. <laughs> I want to believe. I believe. I believe there is a way to truly go to the center. I am a believer, guys. I believe. I believe he did it. I, I believe. believe. I don't know how he did it, but I believe this is true. I uh, I might be the only one, but I am believe it. I do believe it. Yeah. But it was discovered on the 8th, but he did it on the 5th. So you can't tell me that somebody didn't notice for three days that it was discovered. I'm pretty sure so, a lot of people are, well, I don't know. Maybe they're, everyone's moved into the next galaxy. Yeah, who's Just looking say, anymore? Well, thank you. Thank you for coming by. I, you know what? Uh, how many people are left in the Euclid? How many people are just hanging out at the end? And yeah. how, how many people have there been I am. for a while? How many of them are <laughs> looking at the sun? You know what I mean? The Emperor card. I don't know. I don't know. No. There is a guy, Ron Scoble, who is all, always on my streams, and other people who play, plays from Roman Sky. Ron Scoble is, is his 
name. Ron Scoville loved. And the thing about this guy is that he doesn't play the game. He doesn't even play the game. But he searches for an answer. He wants to solve the riddles of the game. And he thinks, he's, he, belie he believes so much that there is a riddle that somehow he managed. I don't know where he found that uh, app, but he is able to pinpoint your location in the galaxy in uh, an Excel, I believe it's an Excel type of program. I don't know what, what is he doing. But you know when you go to the scanners on planets, they have some code, some code names, right? Oh, some I've numbers. seen this guy talking actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he told me, uh, hey, Sirius, go to a scanner on a planet. I will tell you exactly where are you on the cent uh, on the galactic map. And then this guy, uh, I went to the scanner, and then he showed the numbers and the letters there. And he put it them into this program, and he somehow managed to pinpoint my location in a 2D map. Huh. And the thing, he sent me a picture, and I believe it's working. He, he found a way to pinpoint your location in the galactic map. Wow. I don't know how he did it. Yeah, but that's crazy. Who's this guy again? Ron Scoville. On YouTube. Is that Ron? Ron. Oh, Ron. 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 Yeah, the guy that knows so much about No Man's Sky, but he doesn't even own the game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yeah. He told me yesterday that if I keep flying straight, I will find a fourth, third portal, didn't he, right? He was saying, he was saying, yeah, say yeah. keep flying straight. So I got in my ship and I flew, and lo and behold, there was a third portal. <laughs> huh. I think it's funny because he doesn't even own No Man's Sky. Yeah, no. how, do, how, how does he even know so many things about the game? By just watching streams. <laughs> searches on the internet every day, I believe. Yeah. It's like a little guru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were asking him, uh, there was one on, on my stream one time, and we were asking him, hey Ron, how do you know uh, so many things about the game? Maybe you are uh, Sean Murray. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Legacy Zero, Mark. We were... Hi guys, how you doing? I'm sorry. So, Kaka, what is your Twitch channel called? I really apologise for my ignorance. It's the x group. As, sorry. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not on your YouTube description, actually. Like, I had a look earlier. It's, I couldn't find it. It's in the uh, descriptions of everyone. Oh, Alright, so we go. I found it. So, I'd like to see what people are saying. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, got it. Uh, uh, Yes. I want uh, I want us to talk about the center. Okay. Because I believe there is a way to truly go to the center by figuring out by figuring out what the Lord says and everything. The monoliths, the portals. I mean, there must be a connection. But uh, the hologram. Why? I I don't know. I have played so many games with riddles and stuff and mysteries. But there is always one thing pointing to another, right? So this hologram with the three planets, three moon, the red star, as we believe, it's pointing to that system. Why? Why is it there? Why does this hologram exist behind the future doors? Does okay. I, I, you know, I, like I said, I'm only 160,000 light years from the center. I work heavily. I have a job where it takes up so much of my free time, and then when I'm not. I'm usually uh, talking, you know, on YouTube, yammering away. Um, but the uh, some of the lore does it talk about the star system? Maybe the 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 hologram is just to instill some of the lore that's talked about. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe there's something to it. I believe that there's something to it. Because it's mentioned on the law, uh, the actual three planet, three moon systems are like the same, one planet with two moons, one planet without moon, without moon and one planet with a moon. 
and that's why I believe there is something in it. And somehow that guy sticks. Managed to find it. <laughs> sticks yeah, did it. Managed to find it. And he claimed the galaxy. And after the Euclid galaxy, he claimed the Hilbert galaxy. Now Hilbert we don't dimension. know that for sure. We don't know about the Yeah, he did that. Sure. Many people told me. Three, four people told me that yeah. he claimed. I, I, said, I, they sent me messages like they saw that the Hilbert was claimed by. I, I've been messaged galaxies. too by quite a few people about the Hilbert galaxy 2 being claimed by Styx. But we I still have yet to see proof. And I need proof to be able to say something like that on my YouTube. Screenshot, it didn't happen. Maybe, right, maybe right, found... that's what people say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe he found a way to claim the galaxies and he can't talk to anybody. And he just keep going to claim all the galaxies by himself. You know, maybe he, he has such an ego and he says, wait, we found the way to claim the galaxies. I will claim them all. That's... Every galaxy will bear my name. <laughs> that's Why what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's you, gonna go do all you the to... five of them. And he's gonna start talking. There's nothing left, y'all. Yep. He's, he's not gonna talk until he finishes all the galaxies. <laughs> 256. <laughs> I believe it. Alright, uh. uh what, 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 what most people would do? claim all the galaxies by themselves. Yeah, how could you not? There is a whole galaxy, a whole universe, and you can see something in this game. How much ego does a man have? <laughs> does man have? You no? Know, claiming all the galaxies by himself. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> much ego. <laughs> yeah, we are equal. People, humans, right? Right, yeah. I, I'm just, I've just received a message on my phone that somebody would like me to, to bring up and mention. Because uh, I've been talking about this. I spoke to Ryan about this last night. And uh, it, it's to do with the hatred that this game is getting. I, after, I mean, I, as well as playing the game, I, I also run a, a flipboard news magazine where I flip lots of stories about No Man's Sky into it um, and I, I noticed you know a lot of hatred as everyone has but I in my entire time of playing computer games which is a long time because I used to play Pong for God's sake that's how long it is <laughs> I have never known a video game to get so much hatred as this game I haven't either and this is not a bad game by far, there are worse games that have disappointed more than this. I mean, dare I say, E.T., the extraterrestrial, you know, there have been worse games than this. And I've started coming to the realisation that I think personally that the hatred that this game is getting has been organised hatred from day one. And I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist because I usually am not, but I... I truly start to believe now uh, that it's been an organised hatred from day one, and that obviously it's, it's gathered my men momentum with the disappointment of certain fans, and, and a lot of bandwagoning has gone on. But somewhere in the back of my mind, I feel like there's some AAA p uh, companies out there, software developers out there going, how dare this 12-man little indie team come up with a concept game like this? How dare they? Who do they think they are? And there's been... Because even before the game was released, there was an active hate sort of campaign already going before the game was even released. Well, what are you going to do? What's the point? You know, what are you going to do? And I've never, ever known anything like it. And to me, it seems like there is somebody out there or there are bodies out there have never wanted this game to succeed and they have organised a hate campaign uh, and that it's just gathered momentum because I have never known anything like this ever in the history of gaming that a game that is this good can get so much hate and I, I have to ask why is that? I wouldn't exclude the fact that maybe some AAA you know, might be 
adding to that, but I don't think that it's all because of that. What I noticed... No, no, I'm not saying all. Right. Well, here's what I noticed. I played a lot. I mean, I worked a lot. And so I was playing No Man's Sky a little bit. I was happy it was out. I was happy all of my subscribers were able to play it finally, right? And then I was coming home and, and getting on and then seeing like these comments like, this game sucks. And I was seeing it all over the Facebook groups. I'm like, wait a minute, what's, what's happening here? What's going on? Everyone was enjoying it. It was so... No, it wasn't exactly instant. It was about a week. It took about maybe a week. And then I went and, and, and I saw the post of all the missing features. Everyone was having fun until they realized that the, the game had a lot of missing features. And I think that that's just, that, that was the final sting for this game because we were really rooting for Hello Games. And a lot of people were rooting for Hello Games and they're, they're stung a lot by games that are released AAA games released unfinished and that when they found out that hello games had done the same thing i think it caused a vacuum you know and, and, and just an explosion um, of really upset people i i don't i i'm with you i've never experienced anything like it in my life i, ne I never even know i mean i was having fun playing the game that i played and i think everyone else was too until they read on on, on some post somewhere was all these missing features, and then the, I think a lot of the hate was infectious, and it infected a lot of people when they got on that. Um, but it, you know, it's not all hate. A lot of it is disappointment. But the hate parts, I, I have to agree with you. I've never seen anything like it in my life, and I've been playing games since you know 18, you know, Atari 2600. I still have my ET <laughs> cartridge. It didn't get buried. Mine stay with me this all these years, <laughs> but you know, okay. but, uh, <laughs> the, the guy who wrote that Reddit post withdrew it because it was being used as a weapon against Hello Games, and that was not what his intention was. His yeah, intention he, he deleted was, it too. Yeah, he deleted it because he said, "No, hang on, this is not what I wanted." He was just trying to be informative to say, "You know, where is this stuff?" Uh, but it was twisted and used against Hello Games, and that's what I mean, it, it seems, it just, to me it just feels like there's been uh, some organisation behind it. The trolls that we get in our streams, they are organised, oh, Christ, they the are organised. Yeah. Those trolls are organised, <laughs> they're funny. I'm telling you. They are so I mean, funny. <laughs> there's only like uh, three of them, like but they have 20 accounts. <laughs> but it's just like, oh, one guy was in there, he trolled, he trolled in one of my comics, comments and he mentioned something about uh africans retarded uh yeah, yeah. and so, uh, a bunch of other like demographics that, or, or handicaps that people have and i'm like dude you just insulted a shit ton of people to come after me <laughs> i'm like here i am bro i said leave them alone just just mess with me dude <laughs> uh. um, i mean i was i was streaming the other night and uh I think I was I was on stream with Rob, and I had a guy who was who we think was probably a, a troll leader in a way. <laughs> and like I, I, cause I, had, I had about twenty five people watching my stream, something like that. And within within seconds, I had like nine dislikes of my video. Within yeah. seconds of him coming on, and I was like, how? What has happened here? Like, and I, I think I think they they go from stream to stream disliking the landscape. It was just because. It's easy to do right now, I guess. <laughs> but you know, it, and it's it's sad that there are so many trolls because the, the people that are disappointed, they also need to be taken seriously and they need to be um, respected as well. The ones that are disappointed and unsatisfied, I I feel for those people, and I don't consider those people trolls. You know, even though they might say this game didn't turn out the way I expected it, I don't find that person a troll. I find it really funny because I'm looking at your Twitch account right now and talking about trolls and above the comments is an animal Warcraft. I <laughs> find that a bit funny. <laughs> uh, so if trolls. anybody's listening, I'm not, I'm not saying that disappointed people and people that ended up thinking that the game sucks, I'm not calling those people trolls. Not at all. No, it's th th those people who just seem to get a thrill out of drinking. Uh, Hatred to people, other people to, to make getting a bite out of people. I, I know I'm a 
unfortunate and I'm the worst, I will, I will rise to it. I just, I'm that type of person, so trolls love me, you know, but uh, I just wish they would disappear because how sad is your life that you have to get up and actually annoy people? That's, and I'm, I'm sorry, my son is seven years old and he's, he likes to YouTube, he likes to play games on YouTube. He, I was, he was playing, uh, what was he playing Minecraft? Uh, two days ago, he was, he was playing Minecraft, he was YouTubing it, and I always make sure I keep an eye on the chat and everything. And this guy, kid, a 12 year old, came into his stream and said, Hey, do you want to come and troll with me? <laughs> Actually, legitimately asked him, Do you want to come and troll? Wow. <laughs> and Charlie, my son, goes, Okay. I'm like, No. <laughs> no, my <laughs> son. <laughs> Right. And someone, you know, I've been on sub before because people see me getting mad about someone who's obviously trolling me and, uh, you know, like the thing, the situation I just mentioned a few minutes ago, um, the best thing to do is just, if it's an actual troll, I delete it. If it's an opinion that's negative about the game, I leave it. I leave it because yeah. it's, it's discussion that should not be erased, it should not be ignored. Um, but if it's a troll and it's making fun of races or it's making fun of handicaps, or things like that, then yeah, I'm gonna just delete it. I, it took me, it took me three years to learn not to reply to those. Three years. Three years. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I delete those now. I don't even respond. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you hear that, Rob? Did you hear what he just said, though? Did you hear? <laughs> I was telling. I was telling. I was. Yeah. Okay, Oh, really? I was a very negative person a long freaking time ago. Wow. And the Man's Sky community has it started to build up. The positive energy from everyone uh, is what changed me into a better person. And it made me realize I'm not just making myself laugh. I'm making someone else hurt, you know, and, yeah. and, and upset. And that's when I'm like, this is, you know, this is stupid. Don't, don't do that to people. Um, but coming from someone who used to do that, the more you huh. respond to them, that's what they want. Because it's there's a reason why it's called trolling. Because, you know, when you're fishing, you're throwing your, your fishing pole out there and you're trolling for fish. You know, and when they exactly. come by your YouTube channel, they're throwing a comment out, they're trolling for you. And when you respond, they, they you know, they got to They got gotcha. you. The line. They got gotcha. you. Yeah. That's what they want you to do. There's nothing you can say that's going to hurt their feelings. Because they want you to say anything. I love it when they try and turn it around onto me, though, and go, well, why, have, why are you being so personal? Why, why are you personal? There's no need for personal insults. Uh, what? <laughs> we can't think of that. I'm talking to one specific guy here. We're not going to name names, but uh, we've but actually no. tamed the troll <laughs> on our street. We have, <laughs> I, I, we have tried to pass him and I tamed the troll yesterday. And he, he's good in my channel, but he still goes over to the next door neighbors and does his business on their lawn. But then he'll come back to my... <laughs> You know, it'll be nice. <laughs> 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 I'm trained not to do his business on my lawn now, so hopefully he will, he will start learning. But, but the, the way I tamed you was, I just engaged him instead. Instead of talking about No Man's Sky, I said, okay, look, right, what is it, what do you like? You tell me what you like. What would you like to be playing right now? What's your favourite TV show? I started getting him to talk about things that he likes, and all of a sudden, oh, he was subscribing to me. He went from trolling me to subscribing to me. So I think that's the secret. I think the secret is just get them to talk about what they like. They just want attention. And not what they well, hate. Kill them with love. And it works. A lot of people want uh, anxiety over others on the internet. Some of them are, you know, they're not just bad people. Some of them are depressed or their lives aren't going well. It, it's maybe therapeutic for them to feel happy when they make you feel as bad as they do. You know, so you're right. Kill them with love. You know, treat them. Treat them. Yeah. Kill them with love. Kill them with love. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. <laughs> kill them with love. When it's all in here, 
can't stop them. Here. I'm here. We just be nice. Them. Cover them. Of animals, so no one's scared. <laughs> You know, most of this troll talk is going to be edited out of the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? So, oh, go ahead. I'm going to say goodnight now because I need to go to sleep because I'm working four hours and we need to go to sleep. Okay, okay. serious. So, thanks for everything, everything guys. And then you, Cobra, for getting me into the talk. Thank you so much. All right, and uh, make sure you leave your YouTube uh, link. I already know your channel, but it'll be easier when I go to edit the video for YouTube. Um, okay. Just leave it in the Skype there. Yeah. So guys, uh, keep the talk. I will keep listening until I get uh, until I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Thank you, Ryan. Can you hear that, Ryan? Right? Right? Just listen to Ryan that one time long. <laughs> 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 Complimented on my uh, my YouTube voice many a time. Thank you very much. Yes, it's it's good to fall to sleep to. That's what you've been told. Uh, I thought. It, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cobra, I'd like to go back to something you said about the uh, No Man's Sky community in general. I'm sorry, serious. Bye, buddy. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you so much for it. Oh, serious. Thank you as well. Just serious, are you going to join us for the jump through? Do you think you're ready to jump through to the next galaxy? Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Okay. Maybe okay, not. guys. All right. I'll keep listening. So, good night. Good night, serious. Good night, buddy. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Yeah. What a good guy, man. That guy is—he's an—he's got an amazing character to him. You know, yes, I he can does. sit there and watch his live streams forever. Oh yeah. One one night it may be late for work actually. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what um, so, were you gonna say about the community? Right, uh, Cobra, you touched on it a little bit. You said the community playing No Man's Sky kind of turned you around, and uh, I just like to uh, give a shout out to a lot of the stream watchers, people that don't necessarily stream themselves, people that don't necessarily play themselves but that also love this game and love the streams and are out here. I mean, they're on constantly showing their support for it and uh, helping out and trying to help people solve the mystery of the game, trying to, you know, help people figure out what to do when they're stuck, things like that. There's a lot of strong support in the community and I think that's one of the best things about the game actually, and one of my favorite things and one of the things that's kept me playing and kept me involved in it is all that support. So I think they deserve yeah, some yeah. props. For sure. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I've made several videos thanking them. Um, and this, they, they helped me become more of a positive person like a yeah. long time ago, way before the game ever got released. Because I made my first No Man's Sky video back in 2014. Oh, wow. And then uh, people came by and they were like, great video, uh, great voice, uh, great presentation. And I'm like, are you being nice to me? <laughs> Why are you being nice to me? being nice to me? <laughs> I, I, I remember it. But I actually... I, I'm pretty sure I was one of your one of your early subscribers actually really? um, yeah, yeah I, I remember I, this is going to sound weird I remember the first video I watched of yours I was lying in bed one night <laughs> and uh, <laughs> where's this I'd, going I'd, I'd heard I'd heard something about this game and so I went on YouTube and your video was the first one that came up and you'd only done maybe two or three at that point because you're wearing a mask I just thought <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you know. I started my first video wearing a mask <laughs> nice <laughs> I remember, I just remember the audio quality not being quite as good as it is now. That's oh why that's God. something I remember. Yeah, I was probably wearing a mask. I was wearing a mask and there was like a little uh, broken webcam only the mic worked and I had it taped on the inside of the mask. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I had my head in a jar. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, memories, man. Jeez. So it's been a long road. Yeah, yeah, it's, I started uh, covering No Man's Sky, I think uh, maybe I was the first one. Wow. Um, I remember uh, doing a bunch of research for it, and I couldn't find a YouTube channel talking about it. And I'm like, man, I, I did all this research, I got all these notes, I may as well, may as well make a video. So Might I as well. <laughs> well, I mean, you do have a face for radio. I mean, I'm voice for radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think I don't watch Obi and Anthony, I watch Obi and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Happen sometimes. I've got quite a, quite a, quite a, quite a good um, indent in it, and I think I'll continue tomorrow night uh, pulling the spider up. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, when are you guys going to jump through? Oh. Yeah, good question. Oh my god. Hopefully, this week <laughs> sometime. You're not even hesitant on doing that. Cobra, I think you know Pizza Pew Pew, right? He might have even been on your show once or twice. I, I feel like he might have been. Wait, what now? Peter Pew Pew. I mean, your your friends. Oh, I think so. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Pew yeah. Pew. So that's who we're waiting. That's who we're waiting on, actually. So like Peter, Mike, Rob, and myself, we're like we're like a little uh, a little brotherhood. We're gonna like, Thelma like, and Louise it right through the center, holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be streaming that actually. Um, screen on like um, Rob will have um, at least four screens in one in one stream. We'll be, we'll be streaming that, like, all jumping through the center at the same time um, and seeing where we end up. But we're not sure when that's going to happen. It might be as late as Sunday, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, you know, it, it'd be uh, funny if, uh, as you guys are all going at the same time, when it goes backwards, if you all just yell rejected at the same time. <laughs> but what's funnier is if one of you actually went into the center. That that's would be <laughs> God, I hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> These two, they, they didn't deserve that. Hey. <laughs> 400 hours of streaming and I don't get the center, I would be so annoyed. <laughs> you gotta bring enough Gek Nip. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's uh, it, it's gonna be a symbolic gesture because it, it's, it's the last act of my channel. Because, uh, Exploring No Man's Sky will no longer exist after we do that because uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be rebranding it to something else uh, because I think I've done all I can in No Man's Sky so I, I want to rebrand. So for me, the jumping through the center is going to be uh, the last act of Exploring No Man's Sky as a channel. So for me, it is a, a huge thing. It's a symbolic gesture as well. Uh, it's, it's at the end of one chapter at the start of another so for me it's gonna uh, uh, there will be tears I'm not gonna lie to you because I'm that sort of guy there will be tears so if you want to see a grown man crying uh, <laughs> join that street because it will happen it, it happened the other day when I was just talking about it I started crying I don't know why but it did it was embarrassing but, uh, so for me it's a huge thing uh, because I'm ready to move on now. I, I'm still going to play No Man's Sky for the rest of my life, uh, but I'm ready to move on to my next chapter of my YouTube career, basically. Yeah. So, uh, so for me, I can't think of any way to begin that chapter by with these three friends that I've found in the last eight weeks yeah. and feel like I've known them for years. I mean, and that's what No Man's Sky has done. Yeah. You know, for us three, and I'm sure Mike, Ryan, and Peter, if he was here, they would all all say the same thing that we have become so close, so quickly. You know, uh, I mean, I'm getting married in five weeks, and I, I I even said to Ryan the other day, I wish he could come. <laughs> you know, and we we only met like four weeks ago, and I wish he would come to my wedding, but uh, unfortunately he can't. So uh, that's that's what this game has done. So when people say there's no multiplayer, no, you're not playing it properly. <laughs> so, yeah. Here, here. 
there's no, there, 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 you know, in a, in the sense that everyone's saying there's no multiplayer, there actually is. I mean, even sharing information is multiplayer. Yep. So, um, and then the fact that, you know, you guys, you know, you found a way to play together. I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Pat yourself on the back. Don't let the negative comments, even though some of them were pretty funny, and I don't think that, I, I don't think that they were saying them to you. I just think it was a good opportunity to take a jab at the missing feature. You know what I mean? So don't take it too much to heart. Don't. Oh, you, you, I, I did something that nobody else. I'm tired of hearing about the missing feature. <laughs> yes. yes, we are. Oh, 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 no man's sky, more like one man's life. Oh, yeah. my God. There's about five complaints of this for this game, and we've heard them all, but <laughs> just that alone, the fact that there's only about five, says a lot. There's plenty more yeah. to complain about in other games. How many, how many subscribers do you have on your channel? Subscribers? Uh, huh? 350. Nice. And, uh, well, eight weeks. Eight that's, weeks that's very weeks. good. That's very good. Yeah. I mean, Mike and I are slightly buying up. We're, we're at about 170, 180 each. Right yeah. Now. Coming up so, on 200. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, hopefully, uh, if anybody's still listening on uh, after, you know, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. If any of my subscribers uh, see it, please go check these guys out. As you can tell, they're very charismatic. Uh, very funny. <laughs> uh, cheers, <laughs> uh, uh, So definitely go check them out so because I tell you what. Retiring Cobra, uh, you know, uh, Craig Ferguson, he, he left for, you know, a British man, so, you know. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> Am I retiring? Yeah, He's trying to steal your so. channel. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to retire, no. We're, we're going to be moving into, uh, we're still going to be keeping up with No Man's Sky news, No Man's Sky gameplay, because that's never going to stop. Um, but we're going to do more of what I call indie TV, and we're going to be doing the, just like we covered the development with No Man's Sky, we're going to be doing that with a lot of indie titles. Um, and I've interviewed developers from Dual Universe, Astro Near. Um, I just had an interview today with a, a guy making a game called Astrocore. And so that'll be up on the channel here in a little bit. And that's really early in development. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a fun fun game. It's another space game. Um, yeah. Nothing like No Man's Sky. Uh, it is going to be rather big. Um, but it's more like it's mixed with a little bit of... Um, I, I, I guess you could say it's like Minecraft with a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy in space. Um, looks like it's going to be fun. But yeah, we're going to be covering a lot more indie titles and do a lot more podcasts. Yeah, I mean, Ryan, Mike, and Peter, uh, we, we're planning on, on doing joint ventures as well. We've got something in the works. So uh, honestly, if you, you just have to come to one of our streams where we're on together and just listen to us <laughs> uh, so I mean that's probably how we've got most of our subscribers is just through the banter with us three uh, four so we decided that we're going to try and do something ourselves and launch something as a joint venture uh, in the near future but No Man's Sky for me and I'm sure it will be for these two it's going to definitely be always our first love I think uh, and I think anything we, we do from now on any game that we recover any game that we play will We'll always compare it to No Man's Sky. <laughs> yeah. You know, it'll be like that first girlfriend. You, you, you truly loved your first girlfriend, but no other girlfriend ever <laughs> made you feel quite the same way as she did, you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that, that's what No Man's Sky is going to be for me, I think. And I think for you too, by the sound of it, I think, uh, I think I hear a little tint of sadness in your voice about that you might be moving on to something else as well. Yeah, it's a little bit of sadness, uh, yeah. but it, it's not the fact I'm not moving on, like, entirely. Yeah. There's always going to be that presence. I mean, even if I'm the last one playing No Man's Sky, you know, I mean, it's always going to be a game that you could see sceneries that you never see again. And I think that's the beautiful part about it. You know, it's, it's a great game to come home after work, maybe grab a beer or something, sit down in the, the recliner and just... <laughs> You know, uh, turn the game on and just go walking around, flying around. Oh, how many games have you ever played in your life where you could, you could just be playing and then suddenly be going, oh, wow, what is that? Yeah. Or if you're Ryan going, what's that? What's okay. that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that? <laughs> I want to hear that. 
I'm sorry. I tried to hold it. 
<laughs> so, so the thing was that why did they do a specific thing in the game? So when they played the tech demos, do you remember? They were playing like planets, uh-huh. like Big Black or Vesta Prime, right? Right. right. Remember those? Yeah. The yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So these planets or this system does not exist in the game, but they exist in the lore of the game. Right. Did you get it? They exist in the lore of the Abyssal buildings. Right. There's something about it that we cannot figure it about. We cannot figure it. Uh, I believe it has something to do with the game, like we are playing like I don't know. Maybe they will add features. Yes. Maybe not. Also because Man, maybe this is we're one heck of a yeah. Bathroom. You were playing. <laughs> you were seeing the the tech demos like Big Clack and Best of Prime Plan. Right. And they are also mentioned in the lore. Like past, don't you get it? It was past. They're in the past. It was the dead tra- traveler. Yeah. Right. Wasn't the prime? Wasn't uh, somebody's homeworld was destroyed? Was it the Corvax homeworld that was destroyed long ago? Yeah, it was just the prime. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But why is it on our lore that refers to the past in our current game? The planets from the tech videos. Is there in the past? Why so you're that? saying maybe the demos were a, a glimpse of the past of the game, like those demos took place in a previous time, game-wise. Maybe. The missing futures are in the past. Yeah, but <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> <laughs> That's where they all went. I just had to say that. I, I'm sorry. But there, is, but, but there are also prime planets on the game. Because I found some yeah. planets. I found a planet like it. name was Community Prime. So there are prime planets in the game. Right. So maybe there's a prime in the game. Or Big Black. All those planets. That also, Bones Aggie was trying to find them somehow. But didn't. That's the last thing I want to say about the game. <laughs> Mostly about. <laughs> but I'm curious. Why? You. Why I'm was just, the plan? I'm, I'm not laughing at you, serious. I'm laughing at some of the comments I'm reading on the <laughs> Twitch chat. Yeah. You know, I've long suspected that going through the center the right way might be some kind of time travel thing where you go back in time and the ruins maybe aren't ruins anymore and they're, you know, present day uh, functioning mm. buildings or something like that. It would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I read the comment right now. Jack <laughs> Nick, Nick says his toilet went to pit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to sleep right now. Okay, buddy. Good night, man. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Can you imagine the dreams this guy has? I just hope. This just in. Watch his bum before. Come on. I tell you what, if anybody's going to solve any puzzle, No Man's Guy is going to be serious. I hope so. Uh, If anybody's going to create more puzzles, it's going to be serious. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe the portals are just giant toilets. Huh. Who knows? We just haven't figured out how to flush. <laughs> oh, he just, that was just his eureka moment. I could just see him sitting there. Uh, eureka! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get up, it hasn't come out all the way yet. <laughs> I gotta tell him. Jake, if you pull this pants up and we run back to his computer. <laughs> <laughs> it like he was still in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Alright, I think we're gonna have to end it on that note. That we can't even, we can't get better than that. How are you gonna top uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, how are you gonna top that? Yeah. yeah. Um, guys, I had fun. I, I would like to have you guys on the show again in the future. Um, 
you know, sure we thing. can continue talking about your, your YouTube channels and such. That'd be great. Uh, I want to ask you something before we go. Sure. Okay. We, it does look like that it, because of our time differences, it does look like it is more than likely going to be Sunday when we jump through. How would you feel about joining us? You've got, you can do that distance in three days if you really <laughs> have a go. If you really try, you can do it in three days. How would you? Can't. I, I, I have the blueprint for the theta, but I don't have the things to uh, to craft it just yet. Um, Emer Emerald and gold, I think it is. Yeah, it was quite a bit, quite a bit. I, I, you know what, I can try and, and build that tonight. See if you can make it, man. Yeah, I mean, why not have you there? You, you invited us onto your show, so I would like to extend the courtesy to you and invite you on our show and do the jump with us. If I were to do that, though, I wouldn't be able to do it on Sunday, because I only get Monday and Tuesday off. Uh. Well, I'm off on Monday. I don't work Monday. Well, I'm in the UK, so it doesn't really matter. But I think it would be, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, guys, if we could somehow manage it? Yeah, if we can work it out, for sure. Well, let me try. If I don't get a chance to make it there, don't worry about it. Just leave me behind. <laughs> I'll come back for you! <laughs> But if I do, then then that'll be that'll be awesome. That'll be that'll definitely be good. But yeah, you know, don't worry about me um, if I can't get there in time. All right. Well, you just keep us posted, uh, you know, and come say hi in our streams and, and let us know what you're up to. And, and sure. uh, if you can do it, it would be a great honor to have you there. So uh, I hope you guys are happy with that and you would agree to, with that. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, the more the merrier. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Looking forward to it. Uh, Sirius, uh, Cyber Sirius is talking about uh, Star Citizen stuff, but live in Bangkok, really hectic time difference. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, message me on uh, Skype, uh, Sirius. We'll, we'll get together at an actual time that we can get to uh, sit down, and we'll work that out, buddy. All right, guys, I think I have enjoyed you guys having me on the show. Like I said, I would like to have you guys on again. I haven't had this much bounce back and forth and, and you know and a podcast it was really fun i enjoyed it so nice. whenever you guys want to come back on just message me okay it's a done deal sounds good yeah, it was great no, fun. Cool. thanks for having us on hey, no problem guys um keep exploring man keep your chins up don't respond to the to the trolls that's right <laughs> just delete sometimes, it. sometimes it is fun though <laughs> sometimes <laughs> Alright, thanks, All right, Cobra. Guys. All right, everybody, take care. And thank you for everyone that came out in the Twitch chat. I enjoyed you guys being out here. Uh, Siri, uh, uh, Legacy Zero, and I don't think I think No More Shadows was here. Or um, also Martin Requiem was also in the chat. Thanks for coming out, bro. Serious uh, Cyber Serious. Luke Sky Trekker, which is a writer on my blog. So it's good to have you guys out. And I I guess I'll see you guys in the YouTube video when this airs. Alrighty. Alright, bye everybody. Bye bye. Cheers, man. Bye bye. Bye. Alright. Boom. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody. This is Gaming Mike off that interview now. That was Cobra TV. We were on there with uh, Rob from No Man Exploring No Man's Sky, Ryan from The Life of Ryan, and Serious Gamer X. I've got links to all those channels in the description of this video. I sure appreciate you joining me. That was a lot of fun. That was good to talk, talk shop, talk game for a little bit. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to drop a like if you're enjoying the stream. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Appreciate you coming out. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there myself. It's been a good stream. I've enjoyed chatting with you guys, as always. I appreciate your support, especially with this game and with the streaming and all of that. Uh, hashtag Gecknip Gang for those in the know. In fact, I'm going to put... Oh, there it is, right there. Nightbot just sent a message about the Gecknip Gang. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you're on Discord. And I will catch you in the next stream. Have a good night.